Welcome to the We Are PPS podcast, where we sit down with the staff, students, and community partners working to make Pittsburgh Public Schools one of America's premier school districts, student-focused, well-managed, and innovative. So we're back with our first podcast for the new year, and we're happy to be sitting down with Carrie Woodard, who is the Director of Student Support Services, School Counselors. How are you doing, Carrie? Hi, doing well. How are you? Good. We're so glad to kick off the year with you. Um, Before we get started, can you please tell us What about your role as a director of student support services? Uh, So as the director of student support services for school counselors, I am an advocate. I work uh, very closely with school leaders as well as relevant um, central office staff. Um, And my job is to make sure that our professional school counselors have all of the resources that they need to be successful. They have all the resources that they need to work with students and support them with um, academic, social, emotional, um, and career services. Um, So... Um, how many guidance counselors are there in the district and how is it determined where school counselors will be placed and just how many a school will receive? Sure, so um, there's over 100 school counselors and social workers uh, in the district and it really kind of depends on uh, the makeup of the school, but our current ratio is 350 students to one uh, school counselor or social worker. So depending on the school, it could be uh, one school counselor, one social worker, a mixture of the two, or something that looks a little bit different. And I believe 350 to 1 is some uh, initiative we recently put in place as a standard, right? It was yeah, a little bit higher. But. It was higher, yeah. So um, we are getting uh, closer, and that, of course, uh, helps our students. So what are the varying ways that a counselor um, supports students and families? Uh, Great question. So uh, back in the day, we used to be referred to as guidance counselors uh, because we really just, our our profession was providing vocational advice. But school counselors follow three domains, the domains of academic, social, emotional, and college and career. Um, So you think of uh, teachers have their content area, so you have, you know, art or math or or music. Um, School counselors are following those three domains. So with academic, Uh, students would go to their school counselor to um, schedule their classes but also pick the classes that are right for them so if you think about a middle school counselor they're helping students navigate you know what are those electives that you want to take as a middle schooler or what do you want to take in high school what are your interests what are your career goals Um, so the counselor would be looking at you know the fantastic CTE programs that we have in high school that those students could be looking forward to our magnet options and things like that Um, we have course want all of our students to pass to the next grade and have all of those academic skills so that they're successful not just here at PPS but throughout life. Um, with, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was just going to say also with um, social emotional we're helping um, students develop those uh, really important skills that they need to navigate throughout life as well so um, learning um, you know, conflict resolution strategies, decision making, how to be a good friend, um, things of that nature. And then when it comes to college and career, um, that's not just something that you would be looking at in high school. That starts all the way in the wee elementary uh, years. So navigating uh, careers, we have, um, school counselors would be the ones that would set up career fairs and, um, you know, uh, college fairs and things like that, but also um, exploring different occupations, doing classroom lessons to learn about things like that. So school counselors do a lot. (laughs) Yeah, the position has really evolved over time, and Mm -hmm. um, there's so many parts to the role. It's almost like how do they manage it all? (laughs) (laughs) But um, I know one, another key piece of it is just attendance and I mean supporting families and providing the supports they need around attendance as yeah. is it critical for students you know to benefit from what's happening in the classroom we have to get them there yeah so the district has taken strides to educate families about the impact of chronic attendance mm-hmm. what is chronic absenteeism and why does abs- why do absences matter um, so chronic absenteeism is really only missing um, two days out of every month. So that's only you know 10% of the school year, but it's really important because the research will tell you that if you're missing two days a month by um, sixth grade, that you are more likely to uh, tend to drop out of high school.
high school or be exploring um, dropping out of high school. So really every day does matter. Um, our school counselors and our social workers are there to help. So there might be barriers that um, students and their families are experiencing. Um, so we want to know about that so that we can help provide those resources and that we can help navigate those challenges with the families um, so we can help. And what are some of the common challenges that you've um, that school counselors are finding that are you know barriers to students attending? Yeah, I think one of the common barriers is school avoidance or school anxiety. I think that's very common. Mental health concerns, um, unique family situations, and um, things such as transportation issues. Being able to navigate the public transit system, or you know, what do you do if you know the bus is late that day? Um, all of those things really impact school attendance. And I know. Um what are some of the resources that are available to help students and families? I'd say the number one resource is reaching out to your school counselor or your social worker, um, but we are there to listen. I think sometimes families get um, a little scared or concerned that if their kid isn't coming to school, they're going to automatically get in trouble, but we really need to know what the problem is. So I would encourage families to you know, call the main office of your child's school and ask to speak to the uh, school counselor or social worker so that we understand and can help. Um, another outside resource that I can share is PA211.org. They have um, lots of resources and a huge directory for um, things that families might be experiencing. So if families are experiencing um, uh, housing instability or you know they feel like there might not be enough food in the home or they need help paying a utility bill um, PA211.org is where they want to go. And one of the ways I know that we are helping families just to one keep them informed I know we make sure that families know if their student was absent uh, we send that schools send home a regular message but mm -hmm. we also have partnered with um, everyday labs to also send families um, Reminders. Can you talk a little bit about those things families are getting and you know where that comes from? Sure. So um, Everyday Labs is a partner, and what they are doing is they are sending um, mail nudges and text message nudges to families when they're missing school. And that doesn't mean um, just the ex the unexcused absences, but the excused absences as well, because as we just talked about, Everyday matters. So it's um, comparing. Uh, their student to other students in their school so that they can kind of see so perhaps um, people might you know second guess do we really need to take that vacation or uh, could we schedule that you know when school is already out of session that type of thing yeah I think that's really helpful I just mm -hmm. know um, I haven't been a, I had a school age child for some time but I do know sometimes you just maybe lose track of that number of absences that they're getting yeah. um, and so it's probably really helpful to get that information absolutely so we know there's a lot we could talk to you about school counseling because as you said there are you know three pillars that you guys are doing all this work in yes. and we definitely want to bring you back again to talk more about like college and career readiness one day yeah. but that but um, we'd like to conclude today and thank you for being here yeah. and uh, we look forward to everyone joining us for our next episode of we are pps bye everyone mm -hmm.